tonight. We have confirmed detectives talked with Maribel Gonzalez King this evening as part of the investigation into the police shooting. She is not considered a suspect. They tell us she's known, though, to spend time in the McLaren Circle area. That's just a few blocks from where the officers were shot. News says Matt Petrillo was the only reporter there as King was questioned. He's live at Kissimmee Police Headquarters. So, Matt, what'd you see? Well, Eric, we were there as several unmarked police cruisers surrounded King over by the neighborhood where those two officers were shot Friday night. About a handful of detectives questioned her for 10 minutes, although we do not know the details of that conversation. What we do know is she was wanted for questioning because she was known to frequent that neighborhood. Well, she was she is not a suspect, was not arrested. Meanwhile, droves of people continue to stop by this makeshift memorial outside of Kissimmee Police Headquarters to pay their respects. Amid the candles, flowers, and balloons at this memorial here at Kissimmee Police Headquarters is a prayer written by this seven-year-old. I wrote, Dear Lord, please bless these two officers and help them with their needs, Joshua Moreno. He doesn't understand why 27-year-old Officer Matthew Baxter on the left and 36-year-old Sergeant Sammy Howard were taken from their families by a gunman at the corner of Cypress and Palmway Streets Friday night. But he does know he wants to become an officer when he grows up, he says, to finish their work. I felt really bad that they sacrificed their lives just for us. 20-year-old Jalen Penna also now wants to become an officer. He wears this T-shirt showing the faces of the two slain officers to honor them. These two officers, they mattered. Their life was important. They made a sacrifice for the community and they shouldn't be forgotten. Today, the police chief could not yet say what led up to the shootings, but he believes the community's outpouring of support for law enforcement is exactly what his officers need to see. This tragic incident does not represent our community or how the, the majority of public looks at, at law enforcement officers or will treat them and vice versa. The chief also said today the alleged cop killer was found with two guns on him, a 9mm and 22 revolver. Meanwhile, police are still investigating and still looking for witnesses to talk to. Eric? Matt Petrillo live tonight. Matt, thank you.